Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I have a five minute project for you and as you can see, it's going to be a band for your keychain. So depending on the fabric you use, you can make this really special and unique and you can practice your stitches a little bit, especially if you're looking for projects and you don't have a lot of experience with sewing. You're going to get great results, it's super easy to do and it's also a great gift for someone if you're looking for ideas. So yeah, I'm going to show you how I did it. Stay tuned. So for this project, you're going to need just a tiny bit of fabric. So I have something left over and um, yeah, you can do any kind of fabric. I do recommend something a little bit more robust, but that's also up to you. Then we have this ring and you can also do different ones if you have them. Then clothespins and an iron. So the pattern or the prep is actually super simple. There's almost nothing that you need to prep for. So I have here a piece that I folded in half. So you see it's longer than it's wider and that's exactly what we want. So I have here 10 centimeters of width and I think about 50 centimeters of length, but you can do this any way you like. So shorter, longer, um, and yeah, even thicker and thinner. So the way you fold it and with the stitches, you are gonna lose a couple of centimeters there. So it's gonna be a little bit less. It's not gonna be the half of 10, which is five, but it's gonna be three centimeters. And with the 50 centimeters, when we fold it in half, it's gonna be the 25. Okay, so now we're using this just like we would use bias tape. So this is the back side of it and that's what we want. And now we're going to fold this in half so that we meet at the midline. And yeah, we want to keep it this way as well. And for that, we're going to need our iron. So now that I ironed over the entire thing, we're going to fold over one more time exactly in half. And I'm going to open it up one more time. So here you see the two little wings we have, and then we're just folding along the middle. And then we get a band without any edges visible. And then I'm going to iron over this one more time just to make sure everything stays in place. And yeah, when we do that, the next step is to do the ring. So we're just going to push the fabric through the ring basically and it's super easy to do. And yeah, you see the size um, fits in my case. You can do a bigger ring if you'd like to, but doing a smaller ring might wrinkle your fabric a little bit. So this really depends on what you have and what you want to use. So this is a standard size, so something you would use for keys, but you can use bigger or smaller ones. Um, depending on what you have and what you want to do. So yeah, um, I'm just going to show you the standard version, but of course you can customize this. Okay, so that's all I have to say about the ring. Let's get to the next step. Okay, so now we're pushing the ring through and we want it exactly in half. And yeah, we're aligning these edges here, so the other two ends. And if we did a stitch here, then it would be visible. And that's not something that we want this time. So what we're going to do is open this up. So everything we just folded and ironed over, we're going to open up. And when you do that, you see all of these lines here that are there because we ironed over them. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. And then we basically want to do um, pretty side on pretty side, so kind of the other way around than what we just had. And we're again aligning all of the corners, all of the edges. So I'm going to show you on the other side, it's just kind of opened up and looks kind of raw and weird, but it's going to be perfect in the end. So um, let's just do this one step at a time. And the first step is this stitch on this end right here. Now we have the stitch on the one side and on the other side it's really neat. So you see here the back side and you can shorten the fabric almost all the way to the stitch. 
and that way it's going to look neat on the outside as well. So what we now want to do is fold over these wings that we did in our step number one, so at the beginning of the project, and yeah, just make sure that everything's in place. And then what we want to do is do the second fold as well. So make sure you do the one first and then the other so that you don't have any hidden wrinkles or anything weird going on. And there we go. So we fold in half. I'm going to pin this to keep it all in place. Okay, here we go. You see here the pins that I have all over and the ring as well is here. So we have a loop shape, basically a little tunnel. And now what we want to do is just connect the two sides so that everything stays this way. So yeah, we're just using this open side here and we're going as close to the edge as we possibly can. And we're just going to do a stitch here with a thread that's the exact same color so that it's almost invisible. And yeah, just make sure that your stitch is straight and apart from that there's not much you can do wrong. So it's super easy to practice on, just go all around. Um, you can of course later take out the pins and then move the ring around and that way it doesn't get in your way as you do the stitches. So you just kind of move it away from the needle and that's all you need to do. Here is our keychain band and you see what it looks like. So we have the ring on the one side and the color also matches the little branches that we have on here. And you see here the original, the very first stitch that we see or that we did is here on the bottom. So you see it as close to the ring, almost all the way to the ring, but not quite. And yeah, now what I want to do is just um, do a stitch there to keep the ring in place. Um, make sure you don't do it too tightly because you do want the ring to kind of move in there a little bit just so you can use it properly and apart from that we just want a regular straight stitch to keep the ring in place and so that it doesn't move around too much. And yeah, um, there are bands that are shorter as I said or you can do longer ones even longer than this one. Um, and yeah, all that we want to do is just make everything stay in place. So a little stitch there is all you need. And on the other side, um, we're actually going to leave it as a loop just so you can push or put your hand um, in between, push your fingers into the loop. Of course, there are some keychains or keychain bands that don't have that and then you basically just have them like a little handle. So that's completely up to you. And if you'd like, an optional step that I almost always do in my projects is a stitch here on the other side because I just like the way it looks when it's a little bit more symmetrical. So I decided to do the optional step just so you can see what it looks like and here it is, the extra stitch on the bottom to keep the ring in place is also there and this means that we are completely done. So you see, you just need a couple of minutes and a sewing machine, a little bit of fabric, also some leftover pieces so it doesn't have to be something you plan for, it can be something um, left over from another project and you see how great this looks and you practice a little bit of sewing. So yeah, I hope you guys like the way this looks. Feel free to let me know how you did it. If you like to do it longer or shorter, um, maybe some um, pluses and minuses, what's good about it long and what's good about it when it's short. And yeah, um, as I said, you can do this for keychains, but you can also do it for many other things. I think I'm actually going to keep one of these on my purse. But yeah, um, you can do it just as a decorative piece or really for a keychain. And the cool thing about it is you can customize it so much and you can make it very, very unique and also a great gift for anyone um, in particular that you want to give it to. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to let me know by shooting a thumbs up. You can also subscribe and click on the notification bell to stay tuned with all of our future videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.